Hey guys, it's Elise with Backbone Adventures again. And here I'm going to show you kind of the big differences between our ATVs and our UTVs. And depending on the size of your party, which one might be the best for you. So I'm gonna show you to begin the, our single seaters, UTVs, and then I'll show you some of our quads. So here at Backbone Adventures, we have a couple of different options and we use Can-Am at this moment in time. And so this guy is gonna be one of our single seaters. And the large difference between these and a couple of others, we do not have anywhere for any individual to sit on this area. It's only designed for one person to sit and drive. So this guy is gonna be a little bit of just utility and storage down here. And one of the main differences with Backbone that we require when we, when anyone desires to book a single seater is that you need to book at least two. So currently we have one of them being strapped on our trailer at this moment. And then that means that we're getting this one ready to be strapped on this other side for a rental tomorrow morning. So that means that we need to have the extra space for those two. And the largest difference between these is that these are fast, you will need to wear your helmet, of course, and that these are uncovered, as you can obviously see. But in a minute, I'll show you our two-seater quads and our four-seater quads, and kind of go through the differences and the positives and negatives of each. So when we're thinking about the differences between a single-seater and one of these two-person quads here, this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. These are bucket-style seats. Obviously, there's seat belts, cup holders, there's the gears, there's all of the front, also the warning labels. This guy currently, we're kind of fixing this one up, so this one's just an example. And then that's about the space you have in here. And this is the back of the Can-Am, so you are more than welcome to bring a cooler that can fit, or we have them actually available at Backbone. We strap them back here if you would like to bring any snacks, and of course, this is the back. So the biggest difference between these is that it does have a nice roof that does not come off, but these also give a little bit more of that turbo, a little bit more of that comfort because you are sitting inside and you are strapped in by seat belts. And so it allows a lot of people to enjoy with their partner or whoever and not have to worry about being a driver if someone really wants to be a passenger. So another option we have at Backbone is a four-seater quad. This is also a turbo by Can-Am. All of our current items are Can-Ams. So this guy is gonna be a four-seater. Also with those typical bucket seats, they can move up and down just like you see. Same thing with the gear shift, the drivers, all the warning labels, the whole nine yards. And then of course, different size doors. And then this is the back of this guy we're currently working on cleaning out, which is why it's in the shop. But the back also, you has a couple of braces in there if you need to grab on. It has a lot of ability to kind of cover, not be covered in mud in the front if that's not your vibe. And it also is just as spacious and comfortable. There's a lot of space for the feet underneath the seats. And then a good thing about these as well, just like the two seaters, you can strap your cooler in the back, which is really great if you wanna bring your own snacks, picnic or anything like that. And both the two seater and the four seater have the same capabilities, the same turbo. And they're definitely great if you have a smaller family or a group of friends. So the last vehicle that we offer at Backbone for rentals, besides our Jeeps, are the six-seater can -Ans. And so we have this guy, it's the Defender, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. And with our Can-Am Defenders, it's definitely going to be more of a utility and a farm-style vehicle rather than a turbo or more of that off-roading ATV that you just saw. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna show you the big differences between this one. So keep in mind, this guy we are currently working on, but this is kind of the truck bed of it. So you can tell that it's very, very large. Here's a toolkit that we include. And right now you can definitely see that you can fit multiple coolers if you need. And here's kind of the other side and this is being worked on, but you can see the tires are definitely heavy and hefty and definitely very, very capable. But it's a totally different experience. The roof is still on, no windows, just like the others. Here are the doors, here's how that looks. And I'm gonna show you on the inside because it is a little different. Here's the inside. So here's the front and the passenger. And so the middle is like a small seat, but it's definitely more of that bench style, less of that bucket where you can adjust. And then of course the steering on the other side. And then it's the same in the back as well that you can see. So it definitely fits six comfortably, but it's a totally different experience. Wonderful for local families, cruisers, first timers, people wanting something a little bit slower. 
but it's a great option. It does have its limitations though. And I would still recommend for a lot of people, a four seat Cam Am might be the best that we offer. But in another video, I'll show you all of our Jeeps so you can see all the differences of what we have.